In this video, you'll learn how different sequences of transformations can result in figures that are congruent or similar to the original figure. Two figures are congruent when their corresponding sides and corresponding angles are equal. These two triangles are congruent. They are the same shape determined by the fact the angles are all the same. They're also the same size because all the sides have the same length. Two figures are similar when their corresponding angles are equal, but the side lengths are proportional. These two rectangles are proportional. The angles are all the same since all the angles are 90 degrees. The sides of the larger rectangle are all twice the length of the sides of the smaller rectangle, so they are similar. Two figures are congruent if there is a way to transform one figure into the other. Rigid transformations produce congruent figures, where the pre-image and image have the same corresponding sides and angles. The rigid transformations are rotations, translations, and reflections. The remaining type of transformation is a dilation. Dilations change a shape by increasing or decreasing side lengths by a specific scale factor. After dilation, the side lengths are proportional, so the figures are similar. Let's look at an example. Two figures are shown on the coordinate plane below. What sequence of transformations on figure P, Q, R, S results in figure P prime, Q prime, R prime, S prime? Are the two figures congruent or similar? There may be several different sequences of transformations that map one figure to another with the same end result. In this case, the two rectangles have different orientation. One has the long sides vertically, the other rectangle has the long sides horizontally. Therefore, a rotation is one transformation that is needed. If the figure PQRS is rotated by 270 degrees counterclockwise around the origin, then the original figure will be rotated to the correct orientation with the long sides vertically. Now the rotated rectangle and P prime, Q prime, R prime, S prime are in the same orientation, but one is shifted. A translation is a rigid transformation that will shift one figure to the other. A translation of 10 units to the left will shift the rotated rectangle onto P prime, Q prime, R prime, S prime. The sequence of transformations was a rotation about the origin followed by a translation. Rotations and translations are rigid transformations. Therefore, the figures P, Q, R, S and P prime, Q prime, R prime, S prime are congruent. Again, this is not the only sequence of transformations that could be used to change one congruent figure into the other. For example, in general, dilations produce similar figures, but if one dilation that changes the size of the figure is followed by a second dilation that undoes the first dilation, the figure is unchanged, and the figures are congruent to the original. In the current problem, we could first dilate PQRS by a factor of 3, followed by the opposite transformation that dilates by a scale factor of one third. Let's look at another example. Two figures are shown on the coordinate plane. What sequence of transformations on figure O, A, B, C results in figure O, A prime, B prime, C prime? Are O, A, B, C and O, A prime, B prime, C prime congruent or similar? In this problem, the image O, A prime, B prime, C prime has shorter sides than the original. One choice for the first transformation is a dilation. The side lengths of square O, A, B, C are six units long. The side lengths of square O, A prime, B prime, C prime are three units. The side lengths decrease by half, so a dilation with a scale factor of one half is needed. Dilations are centered at the origin, so the point zero is fixed. The distance from the origin of points A, B, and C all decrease by half. After the dilation, there are two rectangles of the same size and shape. 
now the dilated figure can be reflected onto the target figure O, A prime, B prime, C prime. Reflect the dilated figure down horizontally. Finally, the last step of the sequence is a vertical reflection to the left. So the complete sequence of the transformation from O, A, B, C to O, A prime, B prime, C prime was a dilation followed by a horizontal reflection followed by a vertical reflection. The transformation included a dilation, which produces similar figures. Therefore, OABC and OA'B'C' are similar figures. Now you know how to use transformations to determine if two figures are congruent or similar. Thanks for watching.